All right, we are here in lovely Fort Lauderdale today on the Crowther Catamaran uh, Spirit One. All right, so starting off on the Char starboard sugar scoop, you notice we have uh, sugar scoop extensions for easy boarding and deboarding of the dinghy. Uh, dinghy is held up by a arch, which is of course welded part of the hull. Also has the added benefit of holding up some solar panels here. Uh, beneath me is some storage right there and the starboard mechanical space. We'll look at the port uh, later. Moving forward, uh, thanks to the homeowner's innovative docking solution, we can squeeze this catamaran in here. Thanks to the pylons. And like I said, this boat is aluminum, so or aluminum, whichever you prefer. We're in, I'm an American here. But uh, I don't think we've ever done a uh, metal boat on the channel before. You notice some things are gonna be different. For example, there's no screws. Well, not really. I mean, there's some screws for the track, but uh, for the most part, everything that can be welded is welded. Looking at the main solar array, you have half a dozen panels here. Uh, boat uses a raised helm. Uh, with a hard top. Jib runs on this track down here. Life raft is directly beneath the boom. And I'll call your attention to the rig momentarily. You have not just one, uh, not just two, but actually three head stays. I mean, this, this boat mast is just way overbuilt. I mean, you've got You've got three uh, stays on either side. Two of them run down in parallel. And then you've got the lowers, two spreaders. And the boat is actually kind of rigged a bit more like a, more like a mono hull, dare I say, with the, you know, with uh, two back stays on either side going all the way aft. Uh, it is certainly unique, but it's just way overbuilt. I mean, this boat was built at a, uh, at a commercial shipyard uh, in Brisbane, so. You know, that's a gives you a taste of what you're getting. And you know, you have the Samson post up here. Again, welded directly into the hull. The generator, small little generator, is beneath that hatch. Like I said, you don't need a big generator on this boat. I think the owner rarely ever uses it. Uh, Lafran's windlass comes down to uh, two anchors here. You can switch the chain to whichever you want. I think this, this little fiberglass uh, covering is basically the only fiberglass on the boat. Uh, bow sprit for your code zero. It has the further attached. The code zero is stored up there in the sail locker. Uh, jib and uh, stay sail are on individual furlers. Split trampoline. Uh, solar powered fans, if you're wondering what these UFO shaped things are. Uh, yeah, this boat could use a little bit of paint, that's for sure, but it's an aluminum yacht, not sure what you're expecting. Another funny thing about this uh, boat design, Crowther design, but uh, you know, actually reminds me of the new Windello with the uh, window arrangement. But the vertical windows, good for the tropics, help keep out the heat. And uh, you also have two, two opening hatches up here for ventilating the main salon. Boat has a typical raised helm, which is actually not very common for a Crowther design. Most of the Crowther designs are twin helm. Uh, or something else, which is maybe a little bit odd. But uh, yeah, comfortable seating for two people up here. Uh, winch for controlling the uh, jib and main. Simrad electronics and your throttles are off to starboard. Of course, the boat also has this Isinglass enclosure, which is fairly new. And you'll see it down in the uh, main aft cockpit as well. Looking at the start, looking at the uh, port sugar scoop, you have the swim ladder here. Huge gas grill, and the main seating area. You have more seating area here than you have room for guests. That's for sure. This is an owner version, so there's only three cabins. You can uh, access. Yeah, you can yell at the whoever is st stand taking watch from the main salon.
and uh, eyes and glass enclosure. This is what it looks like down. It can also, again, fold up here. Runs on this uh, stainless steel track. Look at the mechanical space. And I actually had someone who reached out to me over Facebook and already asked, you know, if the boat was a shaft drive. And it's actually a sail drive, which maybe is a bit odd. Normally you think people that buy metal boats, you know, they want everything to be ultra conservative, old fashioned, and there's a lot of that here, but it actually is sail drive, much to the disappointment of the gentleman who inquired. But uh, twin Volvo engines, these are 75s. So, you know, boat, I would, I would call these upgraded engines, uh, given the length of the length of the yacht. And again, you can see the uh, construction of this boat, the ribs. But yeah, the boat is sail drive, which again, maybe you find a little bit odd. I did, but it, the boat was not uh, shaft. If the boat was shaft drive, again, you'd have to move the engines forward into the interior underneath the beds in order to align the shaft. And uh, I guess whoever the original gentleman this yacht was built for wanted um, wanted for exterior engine compartments. So yeah, that wraps up the exterior and we shall head inside. So we're now going to head into the interior of the boat, which I assure you is going to be quite a treat. I'll admit when I first uh, approached the owner about listing this boat, I was kind of nervous, but uh, you know, 20 year old boat, custom yacht, you never know what you're gonna find. But I mean, just looking at the interior, you can see how fantastic of a job the owner has done at just keeping this boat well maintained. I mean, it shows like it's practically new. I mean, it's just nearly immaculate. So in the main salon, we have a U-shaped galley, two cold storage units, Corian countertops that have these uh, movable gussets, as well as you'll notice how the entire edge of the galley is baffled. Uh, lots of storage under here, a dual basin sink, electric uh, burners, and a uh, countertop oven. So I guess what you would call that. Uh, moving off to port, you got your main seating area here. Uh, this nicely engraved ottoman uh, with storage for storage. Another two cold storage units off to the side here. And uh, there is your main nav station, as well as the control panels uh, for all the boat's electronics. The owner of this boat is a marine engineer and has had the boat set up, you know, in a very simple but easy to maintain way. And I also notice, I'll call your attention to the fact that you have these two hatches on either side of the main salon for uh, letting in a cross breeze. If you're in a marina and you aren't at anchor to use the main forward hatches. We'll head into the guests and as we do, you'll notice just how nice the flooring looks. I mean, teak flooring just looks absolutely immaculate. Beneath there is just uh, some storage as well as AC unit. Aft guest has a queen queen equivalent size berth, and as well as a storage locker here for clothes. This boat is a performance cruiser. Remember, it's a Crowther design, so it sails fast, but uh, the only downside of that is it is a little tight to maneuver around for shooting. Uh, entering into this Jack and Jill head, you got a uh, your head right there, sink and vanity. That following this leads us to the uh, forward VIP. And the forward VIP is completely different. You have these steps that lead up to another queen berth. And uh, this is something which I've seen on other Crowther catamarans where you don't have an athwart ship berth, but rather forward facing, but it's directly in front, uh, nearly in front of the main salon. It's a very uh, Croutherian. I, I don't know, is that even a word? I don't think so, but uh, it is now. And uh, Ford VIP has its own uh, uh, sink, vanity, and shower. But there is, uh, of course, separate exit ways, so you don't need to cross through the head to get back to the main salon. 
and we'll pop owner over into the owner suite. The only downside of this boat, I would say, is that it is what I like to call a six foot catamaran. Headroom, a little limited. I'm 6'2", it's too small for me, but if you're under six feet, I think you'll be fine. So in the owner suite, we have a king size berth. Uh, there's no lighting, so I can't show it, but underneath here is a huge Dometic water maker. Uh, TV up here, and for the owner, this door slides over. Allows you to fully enclose the uh, owner's suite as well as storage is in, in back of here. I appreciate the fact that the owner has redone the entire boat with these LED lights controlled by these uh, black touch panels. And you'll see the aluminum construction is visible on the interior. Open shelving off to starboard and more storage and a washer dryer combo unit off to port more storage the owner's uh, head you have the head way forward it is a Dometic uh, electric flush and the shower is aft So that will wrap it up for uh, Spirit One, a unique uh, aluminum Crowther design. Uh, Crowther, of course, passed away, I think in what, 1994. This was technically done by his son. And I think they, they don't design sailing cats anymore. So this is probably one of the last Crowther catamarans that uh, they ever worked on. So if you have any questions about her or wanna go see the boat, do drop me a line. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike, leave a comment. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.